So good morning, everyone. So how are all of you? Doing well? Wrote the exam? Right. How was the paper? Nice. Great. So let's start the today topic. So today we will first of all discuss about anatomy of leaf and then we will start about the secondary growth. Is it all right? So first anatomy of dicot and monocot leaf and then we will enter in secondary growth. So let's start. See, if you talk about a dicot plant, so in dicot plant, which type of leaves are there? Dorsi ventral leaf. And if you talk about a monocot plant, The nature of leaf in the monocot is what? Iso bilateral. So you just try to understand what is this dorsi ventral leaf first of all and what is this iso bilateral leaf. Have a look here in a diagram. So I am just drawing a diagram here. This is which kind of leaf? It is a leaf. How is it looking like? It is the main stem and this is the leaf. It is which kind of leaf? It is a dorsal surface facing the sky and this is the ventral sur surface. Getting the idea? Is it clear in the mind? Right? Dorsi ventral leaf. Okay, ji? So who are facing the earth? is ventral surface and who is facing the sky is which one? Dorsal surface. So it is dorsi ventral leaf. It is laterally in position. Now if we draw a isobilateral leaf. Isobilateral leaf. Looking like this. Right. So when you look a isobilateral leaf or a dorsi ventral leaf, what you are finding in dorsi ventral leaf? This side is exposed in the light and this part is in the shade. Are you agree or not? This is a dorsi ventral leaf. This is in the sky and which is facing the light and this is in the shade. Is it clear? So this surface, who are upper surface, it is a dorsal surface or it is also called adaxial surface. Adaxial surface and this is which surface? Ventral surface. Ventral surface and abaxial surface. So you tell me in torsi ventral leaf, who is more exposed with the light? Adaxial or abaxial? Adaxial is more in the light. So who are more exposed to light? Adaxial surface. So what we report in the case of a dicot plant or dicot leaf, you will find dicot leaf are usually, usually hypostomatic, 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 hypostomatic means what? A stomata present in which surface? Lower surface. A stomata present at lower surface. It is hypostomatic. Why it is hypostomatic? To reduce the loss of the water. Because upper surface is in the light. And if stomata present own upper surface in more amount, 
or if it is present on upper surface, what happens? It loss more amount of the water. So in dicot leaf, hypostomatic condition is adaptation to conserve the water, to prevent the excessive loss of water during transpiration. Are you agree or not? So what are the benefit of hypostomatic conditions in the dicot leaf? You got the idea? So if someone asks you, hypostomatic leaf, how help to a dicot plant? So it reduce, it reduce which one? Loss of water. Loss of water due to transpiration. Agreed? This doesn't mean in dicot leaf always hypostomatic conditions is there. Right? In dicot leaf, many times students confuse, in dicot leaf, amphistomatic, amphistomatic condition may present. Condition may present. It doesn't mean strictly they are hypostomatic, but in a, but what happened? In these amphistomatic, more stomata, more number of stomata present on lower surface, on a axial surface. Are you getting the idea or not? So how many conditions we discussed in the case of dicot leaf? We discussed two conditions. One, hypostomatic. Okay, dicot leaves are mainly hypostomatic, stomata present only on the lower surface. But if it is amphistomatic, what happens? More number of stomata present in which surface? Abaxial surface. And less number of stomata present in which one? Adaxial surface. Getting the idea or not? It's once again a mechanism to conserve the water, to prevent the excessive loss of the water. Is it clear? So what are the possibility in the case of a dicot leaf? You tell me about the distribution of stomata. Condition number one, stomata, either it is hypostomatic, either it is hypostomatic, means present only on lower surface, or it may be amphistomatic. If it is amphistomatic, if it is amphistomatic, where more number of stomata is there, more number of stomata present on the abaxial surface. And both of these are a method adaptation to conserve the loss, excessive loss of the water. Is it clear? So you got about the idea about the uh, stomata distribution in a dicot leaf. Now I'm coming another aspects of the dicot leaf. If you talk about a dicot leaf, you better know, in dicot leaf, you better know what happened. This is the midriff, this is the veins, and this is what basically veinlets. This is veinlets. Getting the idea? This is veinlets. What happened? Reticulums are there. Veins also branch and forming which one? Veinlets in the case of the dicot leaf. Okay, G. Is it clear in the mind? Now I want to study the anatomical conditions of the, so you know better. So in dicot, what we find? Two things we already discussed in dicot, so you don't forget. First thing we discussed is what? Dicot leaves. Two condition is there, either hypostomatic or amphistomatic if amphistomatic if amphistomatic more number of stomata on lower surface So see, now we are going to deal about a sectional study of a dicot leaf. So you know now in dicot leaf, which kind of venation is there? Venation is what? Reticulate. Reticulate venations are there. Now we are going to discuss about the sectional view of the dicot leaf. Sectional view of the dicot leaf. Which section? 
which section we are going to discuss? TS, LS, or VS? Which section? So we are going to study here vertical section. Which section? Stem is thick, thin, na? So we can't go for a transverse section. If it is a stem, leaf is thick, we can't go for a transverse section. If it is a stem, we can cut like this. Slice. Like salad, slice you cut in a small, small, very thin, thin slice. We can cut in a transverse section. If it is a stem, we can't cut TS in case of which one? Leaf. We go for a which section? Vertical section. So this is the vertical section of the lamina. So when we are going to study the anatomy of the dicot leaf, here examiner may torture you by then writing the name of section. Because transverse section, longitudinal section, uh, they can say transverse section, TS, horizontal section or vertical section. So it is which one? Vertical section. So we are cutting the vertical section of which one? Lamina. Vertical section of leaf lamina. Getting the idea or not? So when we are going for vertical section, you just tell me, when we cut the vertical section, what is this? This is midrib. This is midrib. Here you understand it. Here it is veins. Here it is veinlets. So use your brain in middle of vein and vein let so is present. Xylem and phloem is present or not? Tell me. In middle of vein and vein let so is present. Vascular tissue is present. So where the bigger, biggest size of the vascular tissue is present? Where the biggest size of the vascular tissue is present? Middle rib. Then somehow a smaller size of the vascular tissue present in which one? Veins. Then smallest size of the vascular tissue is present in which one? Veinlets. So what you are finding? Different size of the vascular tissue is present in a uh, vertical sections of the lamina or not? Tell me. Different size of the vascular tissue is present. It depends upon which part is there. If we see this one, smaller it will look. If we see this one, somehow bigger. Here the size of vascular tissue, biggest one. Able to understand or not? So it depends upon where cut occur. Either it is a vein or veinlet or midrib, size of the vascular tissue going to change or vary according to that. Is it it or not? So that is one of the very peculiar feature of the dicot. Ki what happened? Different, 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 different size of the vascular tissue is there. Clear? Right? So now we are going to deal what we observed in the sectional study of the which one? Dicot leaf. So I am going to draw the diagram. Have a look here. So draw the diagram side by it, either how less, no need to go for a very refined diagram and go for a lot of time waste. Sketch it must. Don't go for what? NCRT, simply I'm just looking on. No, it is not good. Otherwise for me it is also better. Na? Open the Google and then carry the NCRT, anatomy of dicot and monocot leaf, more better diagram came, rather than to whom what I'm drawing. But beside of that, prefer to draw it. It will give you a step by a step clarity about the things. Where, what is present. Is it clear? So every time don't see the diagram only. Okay, this is there, leveled there. Draw and level it. That is always a great practice. Either how much bad in drawing doesn't matter. But draw it. Have a look. So see the things. I am going to draw the structure of a dicot leaf. <coughs> So here we are drawing the epidermis. Two epidermis is there, adaxial and abaxial. So here I am drawing epidermal cells. This is the epidermis, upper epidermis. Now I am going to draw which one? Lower epidermis. So now I am going to draw which one? Lower epidermis. So here I am showing the stomata only on which surface? 
lower surface. Here it is what? Stomata. A stomata. Getting the things. A stomata consists of this is which one? Subsidiary cell. Subsidiary cell. And it is which one? Lower epidermis. It is which surface? Ventral surface. Ventral surface or abaxial surface. Abaxial surface and it is which one? Dorsal or adaxial surface. A, D, up. Adaxial surface. So this is the epidermis I draw. Upper epidermis, lower epidermis, dorsal, ventral, adaxial, abaxial. Whatever, whatever. Getting the things or not? Dorsal, ventral, adaxial, abaxial, upper, lower. Whatever the name you want to say, you can say. All have same meaning. Now, what I am drawing, after the epidermal tissue, I am showing the vascular tissue first here. Then I will write, draw the which one? Ground tissue. So I am just drawing here, it is vascular tissue. It is vascular tissue I am drawing. So in vascular tissue, what happened? It is important to know where is xylem and where is phloem. So here it is protoxylem, metaxylem and phloem. Are you getting the idea what I am saying? Means protoxylum is toward adaxial surface or abaxial surface? Adaxial surface. Keep in mind here. Keep in mind here. Is it clear? Is it clear? So, protoxylum xylem is toward which surface? Adaxial surface. And phloem is toward which surface? Abaxial surface. Keep in mind. And now, this one, this xylem is surrounded by the xylem and phloem vascular tissue surrounded by bundle sheath this is bundle sheath so epidermis so i i am just labeling it then i will draw another things it is which one bundle sheath it is bundle sheath cell are you getting the idea? It is which cell? Bundle seed cell. Clear in the mind? Is it all right? Now what we are going to deal, these bundle seeds is a protective covering of the which one? Vascular tissue. And here what is this? Here it is vascular tissue. Here what is this? It is VT in short I wrote, vascular tissue. And these bundle seed is made up of which kind of simple tissue? Parenchyma. So I am just writing, this bundle sheath is parenchymatous. This bundle sheath is what basically? Parenchymatous. Is it clear in the mind? So who is parenchymatous? Bundle sheath is parenchymatous. Clear? Now we are going to deal about the type of parenchyma present. So here it is in between. You know, na, it is epidermal tissue. I already told you earlier also. Epidermal tissue and lower here it is which one? Uh, it is which one? Vascular tissue. Getting the things or not? This is which one? Already vascular tissue. Now I am drawing which tissue? Ground tissue. Ground tissue. So in ground tissue, which one is there? In ground tissue, mesophyll cells are there. Mesophyll cells are there. And mesophyll cell is of Two type of cells are there. Two type of parenchyma is present in mesophyll cell. One is toward, toward which surface? Adaxial surface. It is palisade parenchyma. Which parenchyma? Toward adaxial surface, it is palisade parenchyma. Palisade parenchyma. And toward abaxial surface, it is which one? A spongy parenchyma. And wherever spongy parenchyma is there, who is present in this? Intercellular space. I will draw it, don't worry. Intercellular space is there. 
getting the things. And in palisade parenchyma, whatever you find in the ground tissue, the cells are elongated and parallel to each other. The cells are elongated, elongated and parallel to each other. So what I wrote here, let me tell once again, I wrote here ground tissue. It is upper epidermis, it is lower epidermis, this is epidermal tissue. Just have a look, upper epidermis, lower epidermis, epidermal tissue. I just drawn here a hypostomatic condition, hypostomatic condition, getting the things or not? And means I am showing here the stomata only on which surface, lower surface, getting the idea? And <coughs> after that, what we are finding? Keep vascular tissue, I told, vascular tissue is of which type? Conjoined, collateral and which kind of vascular tissue is there? Conjoint, collateral and conjoint, collateral and closed kind of vascular tissue is there. Conjoint, collateral, cambium is not present between xylem and phloem. So vascular tissue is conjoint, collateral and closed. Around the vascular tissue, who is present? Bundle sheath. It is a which one? Parenchymatous protective covering. Protective covering, protective covering of vascular tissue. Getting the idea or not? Made up of which kind of simple tissue? Parenchyma, able to understand. And if we talk about ground tissue system, ground tissue system is what basically, uh, who is there? Mesophyll cells are there. Two type of mesophyll cells are present to, in the ground tissue system. Toward adaxial surface, palisade parenchyma is there. Palisade, right, full name parenchyma and the cells are elongated and parallel to each other and toward the abaxial surface who is there a spongy parenchyma is there and here a lot of intercellular space is there getting the things or not is it clear in the mind is it clear in the mind now you just note it out then i am just going to draw the another part of the diagram that is diamagey part do it first Done. So here I am drawing now the which tissue? Ground tissue. Have a look through a diagram. Ground tissue. So what we are finding, who is there? Toward the abaxial surface, it is a spongy parenchyma. A spongy parenchyma. 
and who is there intercellular space intercellular space is present and here very compactly arranged cells are what basically these compactly arranged cells are bundle sheath extension bundle sheath extension and if you talk about this is elongated cell intercellular space not there near the adaxial surface it is what basically it is palisade parenchyma palisade parenchyma getting the idea and this is the bundle sheath bundle sheath is made up of which one parenchyma getting the thing so this is about the ground tissue system i wrote these all are called which cells mesophyll cell these mesophyll cell toward adaxial surface palisade parenchyma toward abaxial surface spongy parenchyma palisade parenchyma cells are elongated intercellular space not there these cells are parallel to each other you are finding a spongy parenchyma cells are spherical and there is a large intercellular space are there and there is a compactly arranged bundle sheath extensions are present in which one these ground tissue so they are starting from the mesophyll and they are moving up to the epidermis and these structure are called what basically bundle sheath extension getting the idea is it clear in the mind so this is about the which one anatomical structure of a dicot leaf getting the idea the vascular tissue size depend upon vascular tissue size depend upon which one either it is midrib or it is vein or it is veinlet section is there able to understand so vascular tissue size depend upon either it is of from vein or midrib or which one veinlet veinlets clear in the mind or not adaxial surface abaxial surface palisade parenchyma spongy parenchyma vascular tissue that is conjoined collateral and close around the vascular tissue bundle sheaths are present now i am just trying to clear one thing here that is very important i am asking a question before going to deal about it can you tell me bundle sheath cell is present in c3 plant or c4 plant or both type of plant here people got a confusion see one answer came c4 plant all are agree it is present in c4 plant only not in c3 plant so you can say these bundle sheaths are present in c4 only not in c3 bundle sheath cells are present in both c3 plant and c4 plant then you can ask me a question related to physiology then sir tell me current anatomy it is written in our ncert current anatomy present in c4 plant presence of bundle sheath is a different thing and current anatomy is a different thing current anatomy is due to arrangement of mesophyll cell around the bundle sheath cell got the idea so you can say how current anatomy differ from the uh, c3 so you just look here it is a very important question and a student got a lot of mistake here they do a lot of mistake when we ask a question bundle see their mind c4 cycle came kare c3 cycle c3 plant mesophyll cells are there they perform photosynthesis in c4 plant bundle set also have a role you just got a thinking like this or not and you just make a mess you just make a mess so better first clear this mess it is very important to clarify here only so first thing in both c3 plant and c4 plant leaves who is present bundle sheath is present it is one or more than one layer uh, structure who covered the vascular tissue and act as a protective covering of which one xylem and phloem vascular tissue clear so first thing is clear it is present in both c3 plant and c4 plant now in c3 plant these bundle sheath cell don't participate in photosynthesis 
in C3 plant, in the bundles itself, chloroplast is not there. Who is not there? Chloroplast is not there. But in C4 plant, these parenchyma, parenchymatous bundle sheath converted into chlorenchyma. Note it out, it is very important. It converted into which one? Chlorenchyma. It is a modified parenchyma who have chloroplast and have a role in photosynthesis. Getting the idea? Clear in the mind? So bundle seed cell in the which one? C3 plant don't have chloroplast, but bundle seed cells of a C4 plant have chloroplast. These parenchyma get modified into which one? Chlorenchyma. And what I told? But Karanj anatomy, many myths in the mind of the student is what? Ki Karanj anatomy is due to presence of bundle seed cell. No. Bundle seed cell present in C3 plant, C4 plant both. But we say Karanj anatomy in C4 plant only. We not say in which one? C3 plant only. Are you getting the idea or not? C4 plant only. Both C3 and C4 we are saying. Why it is like this? Because bundle seed cell presence is not the key for what? Karanj anatomy. Karanj is due to arrangement. Getting the things or not? So mesophyll around the bundle seed cell arrange in breath. Arrange in which one? Breath. Breath like arrangement is there. You have, do you know the breath arrangement? Do you know the breath arrangement? Karanj anatomy means breath anatomy. Breath arrangement. NCRT also wrote in a breath. Getting the things or not? If you just talk about the Karanj anatomy in C4 cycle, NCRT also wrote in a breath. What is that breath? Breath is like a circular structure. Breath anatomy. I am telling you, when anybody, uh, some well-known people die, we just uh, going to uh, offer them the last prayer and we just go along with a bouquet and along somehow circular flower, breath-like flowers, na? that arrangement you are finding or not, that is breath. Getting the thing, we not go with a bouquet. Getting the things, getting the idea. So when mesophyll cell around the which one? Around the which one? These bundle seed cell arrange like a breath. Breath, you got the idea, got a picture? You just, in movie you see, na? when any celebrity leader die, so people go with a which one? flower and they just offer them. Getting the thing, that is what? Circular. That is what basically? Breath. Got the idea? So when our mesophyll cell arrange around the bundle seed cell in such a way, then it is called what basically? Karanj anatomy. So one arrangement of mesophyll cell in C3 plant and C4 plant is different. Second thing. Second thing is what? Second thing is chloroplast present in which one? Bundle seeth of C4 plant not present in bundle seeth of which one? C3 plant. So that misconception came out from your mind or not. Otherwise student did a blunder here dear children. They find bundle seed cell means C4 plant. Getting the things. So that clarity came. That clarity came in the mind. Yes. Is it clear now? So presence of bundle seeth is not a guarantee of what it is a C4 plant. It present in both, both C3 and C4 plant. Is it done? Is it over? Can we move ahead? Right. In dicot, one student writing dicot, cambium is there. Cambium is present in which one? Cambium present in leaf. No, na? in leaf no secondary growth occur. So there is no need of cambium. So it is which one? Closed type. Done? Clear? It is not the stem. We are dealing about what? Leaf. So done about the anatomy of dicot leaf. Is it clear? Right. Now we are going to deal about anatomy of monocot leaf. Anatomy of which leaf? Monocot leaf. Clear? Can we move ahead? Yes. So let me change the slide and I'm going to draw the... Huh. One thing you keep in mind. I not told about, so let me tell about it first. So who is also present? Cuticle is also present. Who is also present? Outside the epidermis, cuticleization is there or not? In the dicot, where is more cuticleization? On a axial surface, more cuticle is there. In a axial surface, thin layer of cuticle is there. 
thick layer of cuticleization present in which surface. So whenever next time when you plug a leaf, you will find dorsal surface is more smoothy smoothy. It is more smooth and in compared to ventral surface, cuticleization more on the dorsal surface. Is it clear in the mind? So cuticle is also there, both on the upper and lower surface, but more cuticleization there on the which one? Adaxial surface, right? Is it clear? And purpose is what? Prevent the excessive loss of the water. Getting the idea? So this is about the dicot leaf. Now we are coming on monocot leaf. It will take another three, four minutes. Not much because initial background required to say a lot of a story. Na? So now we are going to deal about monocot leaf. Monocot leaves. If you talk about a monocot leaf, it is amphistomatic. And also it is which one? Isobilateral. Isobilateral leaf equally exposed to sunlight. Exposed to sunlight. And uh, amphistomatic means stomata equally distributed on out, upper and lower surface. Equal number of stomata. Present on both adaxial and abaxial surface. Abaxial surface. Now if you talk about a monocot leaf and other things you know better, parallel venation. And if a parallel venation is there, what you manage to know here, see here, I'm just drawing a leaf, so monocot leaf, you look. So this is the midrib, right? And this is the lamina. Wait, 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 wait a minute. This is which one? Lamina. Okay, G. This is midrib. And then what you are finding? Veins are arranged like this. Here what I told earlier in morphology also, veinlet is not there. So the side who are toward the stem, it is called adaxial. And who are far, it is called abaxial. Otherwise it is difficult to say, nah, I am asking who is adaxial, who is dorsal, who is ventral. So to whom we are saying adaxial, who are toward the stem, it is called adaxial. Who is away, it is called abaxial. So it is parallel venation are there. So what you will find here, it is a one prominent vein. I am making bigger, thicker. One prominent vein is there. This is the midrib. This is the midrib. Getting the idea? Uh, midrib. And then you will find here it is veins. Veinlets are not there. So what you are finding? How, what is the size? If we go for a sectional study, if we go for a which one? Sectional study. Getting the things, what you will find in the sectional study? How many different length of the vascular tissue is there? Two type. In midrib, bigger type of vascular tissue is there. In the veins, equal, all the veins of uh, equal size of the vascular tissue. Agree or not? Midrib have bigger one and another veins, remaining veins have the smaller one. So only two type of vascular tissue are there based on their size. But in the dicot, it is more than two type. Are you agree or not? Understanding the idea or not? 
In dicot, it is more than two times. Clear? Now we are moving ahead about the which one? Anatomical structure. So have a look. We are just going to deal about the anatomy. So look here. It is upper epidermis. Now I will do it faster. It is lower epidermis. So here in both the epidermis, we are finding who is there? A stomata is there. Then other than a stomata, who is there? Guard cell is there. Getting the things. So have a look now. Another epidermal cell. It is another epidermal cells are there. And I already told, same thing I will not repeat many times now. Q only epidermal cell who have a stomata, uh, sorry, who have chloroplast is guard cell. Otherwise, in epidermal cell, who is not present? In epidermal cell, who is not present? Chloroplast is not present. Getting the idea? So this is the stomata. Here I am also drawing it. Look here. I am putting it here. It is two guard cell, stomatal aperture, subsidiary cell, and then another layer I am drawing. And either it is a dicot or monocot leaf around the stomata. What happened? There is a cavity present. And that is called substomatal cavity. Agree or not? So you will find here a cavity is present. Here also there is a cavity present. Even in the dicot, I forget to write there. So it is which one? Substomatal cavity. <coughs> cavity is there. Here a large cell. Here is a large, better to write first the name of cell, bully form cells. Bully form cells present in which epidermis? Adaxial epidermis. It is which surface? Adaxial. And the lower one is which one? Abaxial. Abaxial. Are you getting the idea or not? And here I am drawing which one? Vascular tissue. Vascular tissue. Here it is vascular tissue. Here it is protoxylum, metaxylum, phloem. And around the vascular tissue, I am drawing which one? Bundle sheath. It is parenchymatous bundle sheath in both the cases. It is bundle sheath. Getting the idea or not? Is it clear in the mind? And now, now if you talk about, we are going to deal about mesophyll cell. Epidermal over, vascular over, now we are going to deal about which cell? mesophyll cells. So if you talk about the mesophyll cell, what you will find? This mesophyll cell is undifferentiated. What important? Mesophyll cell not differentiated differentiated into palisade and Palisade and spongy parenchyma. Palisade and spongy parenchyma. So everywhere same type of cells are there. Everywhere you will find same type of cells are there. See, look here. And here you just keep like small amount of who is also present. Here also who is present? Bundle sheath extension. Upper side also, lower side also. And these are what? Upper and lower bundle sheath extension. So someone asked you a question, in a case of monocot leaf, how many different type of cells are present on upper surface? 
at axial surface. Tell me the number of type of cells. Use your brain. Use your brain. Tell me the number of type of cells. Normal epidermal cell. Normal epidermal cell, one type. Second type, subsidiary cell, then guard cell, and then bully form cells. So how many type of cells? Four type of cells are present in which one? Adaxial surface. Getting the things or not? What you will find in the monocot leaf? Stomata, equal number of stomata present in upper and lower surface, but in upper surface, bully form cells are there. These bully form cells are thin walled. Thin wall, large and colorless. And colorless. And what happened to these bully form cells? These bully form cells, what happened to these bully form cells? So you keep in mind, these bully form cells get turgid in presence of water. and get flaccid in absence of water. So when it get turgid, what happens? Leaf expand. Leaf expand and expand. Leaf surface expand. Wetting the things. Leaf surface expand. And when it get Flaccid, rolling of leaf occur. So what's happened? When no water is there, so these bully form cells get flaccid and this is the leaf. This is the leaf, so it gets rolled inward. It gets rolled inward like this. So what happened? It reduced the surface area of the leaf due to rolling. And when surface area reduced, prevent water loss. So rolling of leaf, and that is which one? Inward rolling. Inward rolling of leaf and reduce loss of water. Loss of water. Are you getting the idea about the which one? So what I told, how the differences is there? If someone going to ask you, tell me the difference in the anatomy of dicot and monocot leaf, what answer you will write? Mesophyll cell not differentiated into which one? A spongy and palisade parenchyma, one big difference is. Bully form cells are there in the adaxial surface, which are responsible for rolling of the leaf. Another things you will find what? Another things you will find uh, that is stomata. It is also what? Equal number of stomata on which one? Upper and lower surface. There, a stomata either on which surface, lower surface, or it is more on lower surface. And if you talk about a stomata in grasses here, which kind of a stomata is possible? Dumbbell shape stomata is there. There in dicot, always which kind of a stomata? In dicot, you will find I, in dicot, stomata is which one? Kidney shape or bean shape. In monocot, how many possible type of a stomata? Two type. Either kidney shape or dumbbell shape. Kidney shape in which one? Most monocot and dumbbell shape in which one? Grasses. Getting the idea? Is it clear in the mind? So these are the substomatal cavity. I'm also labeling it. Uh -huh, it is already level. So this is about the structure of a which one? Huh, this is the structure of a which one? Monocot leaf. You can also say only two sides of the vascular tissue, tissue is there. Vascular bundle have how many different sides? Two sides. One long and remaining equal. They are more than two. Because venlets are also there, na? so more than two types. So these are the sum of the differences you can create between which one? Dicot and monocot leaf. Is it clear in the mind? So leaves is over. Any doubts is there in the leaves, you can ask. Then we will move ahead. No doubts. So now we are going to deal about the most important topic. Most important topic of what? Anatomy. And that is what? Secondary growth. Is it clear? So can we start? 
Yes, we are starting now the secondary growth. Secondary growth. So what is this secondary growth? See, this is a plant. When increasing in height, it is called primary growth. I already told you earlier. And when this plant increasing in its girth, thickness, it is called which growth? Secondary growth. Circumference of the plant, thickness of the plant when increasing. Thickness or growth. Getting the things. Or circumference, anything you can say. These are what? Secondary growth. Done? Is it clear? It is called secondary growth. Now question arises, how the girth, how the thickness of the plant grow? So where secondary growth occur? Secondary growth occur in, occur in stem and root of gymnosperm and angiosperm. No secondary growth, no secondary growth occur in monocot. And also no secondary growth Occur in leaf. So here we are studying about which one? In this chapter we are studying about anatomy of angiospermic plant. So we will not talk about the secondary growth in which one? Gymnosperm. We will discuss about the which one? Secondary growth in angiosperm. Is it clear in the mind? Right? But Many times in MCQ bits, a question came, secondary growth occur in which which plant. So for that information I told, if I keep in mind, it also occur in which one? Gymnosperm. No any leaf which show which one? Secondary growth. Getting the things. And in biology, keep always one thing in your mind. Whenever we give a statement, it is a generalized statement we are giving. Exceptions are always possible in biology. Some monocot also show secondary growth. That condition is also there. Some dicot is also there who not show the secondary growth. So we just talk a generalized statements. No any scientist study all the dicot and monocot. So what happened? They study 20, 30 plant and based on that they give a generalized idea. And that is the reason whenever we are talking anything in biology, we are just talking in the most of the conditions. This is a natural science. Exceptions is always possible. And no one have that data back. Even Liliaceae, I am telling, no one have a study every Liliaceae member. It is not 10, 20, 30 plant only. Getting the things or not? Thousands of plants are there. So no one going to just find every thousand and finding who is present where, who is not present where. So every time you keep in your mind, it is a generalized statements. Clear? Always keep in mind. Right? It's all right. It's done. Now we are going to deal how the secondary growth occur. Meaning of secondary growth you understood? Meaning of secondary growth is increase in thickness, increase in girth, increase in circumference of the plant and it is a property of root and stem of gymnosperm and angiosperm. Is it all right? Right G? So now we are moving ahead. Secondary growth in dicot, 
stem. Clear? So one by one we are going to discuss. So we are starting with secondary growth in dicot stem. Secondary growth in dicot stem. How? So we are classifying the secondary growth in dicot stem in two categories. In two regions, secondary growth occur in dicot stem. One we are going to deal intra stellar secondary growth. And second, we are going to discuss about extra stellar secondary growth. So, intrastellar means secondary growth inside of steel. Pro correct pronunciation is stele, but we say it's steel. Now, if we talk about extra stellar secondary growth outside, secondary growth outside of a stellar region. outside of a stellar region. Got the idea? So first we are going to deal about intrastellar secondary growth, how it occur. How intrastellar secondary growth occur. Now you just try to understand, I am just telling you, assume this diagram. Suppose that it is a sectional view I am just showing about a which one? Primary plant body. Sectional view of which one? Primary plant body. Means till now secondary growth not occur. So it is which one? Epidermis. I am not drawing all the layer. I am just drawing few layers. I am telling it is endodermis. And between epidermis and endodermis, who is there? Hypodermis, general cortex, there or not? So endodermis. And below the endodermis, who is there? Suppose that this is the layer of pericycle. Here it is a layer of pericycle. Got the idea? Is it clear in the mind? So this is pericycle. Now, who are inside the pericycle is what? Still a region. Clear? Who are inside the pericycle, sorry, endodermis from pericycle onward. Endodermis is which region? Still a region, are you agree or not? So inside of endodermis is, so red color and below the inside of red color is which one? Still a region. Clear? Is it clear? Is it all right? Now how the secondary growth occur here? Have a look here. Give your, give your attention here. So you better know Ki in case of this is the center. Here which kind of vascular tissue is there? It is protoxylum, metaxylum, cambium and phloem. Agree or not? Protoxylum, metaxylum, cambium and phloem. So vascular bundle is what? Conjoint, collateral and what? Open. So I am not writing everywhere protoxylum, I am writing xylem phloem. Here what? Xylem. Here what? Phloem. Here what? Xylem. And here cambium and here phloem. So are you agree such kind of vascular bundle are there? Tell me yes or no. Agree. Very good. Now I am just drawing pith here. So you just see in dicot pith is well developed or less developed? Tell me carry on. Pith is well developed or less developed? Pith is well developed. Pith is what? Well developed in dicot stem. Clear? Is it all right? Pith is well developed. And this pith is radiating toward pericycle. So these are called pith rays or medullary rays. Who is radiating toward pericycle? Pith is radiating toward pericycle. So this is called pith rays and medullary rays. Clear? So everywhere in between these two vascular tissues, these yellow line is there. 
So these are medullary ridge like this. Everywhere it is like like this. It is there. I am not going to complete everywhere. So this is medullary ridge. You just think like everywhere it is like this. Done. Up to here any problem? Tell me up to here any problem? No problem. Just connect with me. Now what happened? You tell me who is present here in between xylem and phloem? Who is present between xylem and phloem? Tell me the name. Who is present? Which cambium is present? Carry on children. Which cambium? It is intra fascicular cambium. Or it is also called fascicular vascular cambium. Are you agree with me or not? Intrafascicular cambium or fascicular vascular cambium. It is a which kind of meristem? Primary lateral meristem. It is a which kind of meristem? Primary lateral meristem. Is it agreed? Done? Is it all right? So primary lateral meristem. Intrafascicular cambium or fascicular vascular cambium present between xylem and phloem. It's all right? It's clear? Any doubt? Tell me. Can we move ahead? Till now any problem? I told the cambium present between xylem and phloem is called intrafascicular cambium. It is called what? Intrafascicular cambium or it is called fascicular vascular cambium. It is a primary meristem but lateral in position. Primary meristem but lateral in position. Now what happened? You just have a look now. That is very important. Keep the medullary ridge between two vascular bundle. This is vascular bundle number one. Assume this is vascular number bundle two. So between two vascular bundle, the pith ridge and medullary ridge get meristematic in a patch like this. It become meristematic. Here it also become meristematic. Here it also become meristematic. Here it also become meristematic. So who become meristematic? Pith rage and medullary rage become meristematic. Pith rage or medullary rage have which kind of tissue? Parenchyma. They become meristematic. How? They went in which process? D-differentiation and forming a meristematic tissue. So this is forming a which cambium? Interfascicular cambium. Interfascicular cambium. And these interfascicular cambium is a secondary lateral meristem. Are you agree with me or not? These interfascicular cambium is a secondary lateral meristem. This is intra, this is inter. This white one is intra. This white one between the green is which one? Intra. And uh, between uh, these greens are which one? Inter. Are you getting the idea? So intrafascicular cambium and interfascicular cambium. All together, they are forming a ring or not? Green and white color ring are you finding or not? Tell me. These are green or white color ring is forming or not here? Yes. So these ring is called vascular cambium ring. So in the intrastellar region, formation of which ring occur? Vascular cambium ring occur. How this formation of vascular cambium ring occur? You got the idea? So which kind of meristem? So in vascular cambium ring, which type of tissue is there? Meristematic tissue is present or not? Which kind of tissue is there? Meristematic tissue is there. Na? Cambium is meristematic tissue. Which kind of meristem is there? Primary, secondary or alternate arrangement of primary and secondary? You tell me. Primary meristem is there or secondary is there or alternate arrangement of primary is there? So can I write? So can I write a line? Vascular cambium ring is made up of made up of alternate arrangement of 
primary and secondary meristem. Vascular cambium ring is made up of alternate arrangement of primary and secondary meristem in the case of dicot stem. Is it clear? It is all right. It is all right. Till now, here any problem? Yes, G, tell me. No problem. Now I am telling you how these. So what's happened? These are the vascular cambium ring. I'm just drawing. I'm just uh, drawing a patch of this for your better understanding. Here I am drawing. Or somehow more smaller. Here, give your attention. It is part of vascular cambium ring. Or better to draw another diagram. Have a look. I am just drawing another diagram. Give a minute to me. Have a look. This is vascular cambium ring. Now it is looking more better now. And this is protoxylum, metaxylum, and which one? Primary phloem. PP. Same here. Protoxylum, metaxylum, primary phloem. Same here. Protoxylum, metaxylum, primary phloem. And here also same. Protoxylum, metaxylum, and phloem. And this is the center. Agree? And this is vascular cambium ring. This is what? Vascular cambium ring. Is it clear? Any doubt anyone have here? No problem, na? This is the vascular cambium ring. Now what happened? When this ring, you just, I'm just telling you here, when vascular cambium ring divide toward outside, it form secondary phloem. And when it divide toward inside, it forms secondary xylem. Because secondary meristem, when divide, they form secondary tissue. Na? And this is what basically. So I wrote, I wrote a line to you, ki the intrafascicular cambium, earlier also, the intrafascicular cambium is the only primary meristem participate in secondary growth. Because when they form the vascular cambium ring, these vascular cambium ring form the secondary tissue. Either this secondary tissue derive from intrafascicular or interfascicular. It not remain intra and interfascicular. You got the idea, understanding the idea, is it clear in the mind? Is it clear in the mind? So, toward outside they are forming secondary phloem, toward inside they are forming secondary xylem. And also, vascular cambium ring, vascular cambium ring so more activity toward inside. So more activity more activity toward inside. So who will form more? Xylem will form more or phloem will form more? Who will form more? Tell me. So more activity toward inside. So secondary xylem will form more in compared to secondary phloem. Are you getting the idea? Is it clear in the mind? Is it clear in the mind? Now, you just look these through a diagram. Here, 
vascular cambium ring part. Here is xylem. Here phloem. Okay, it is primary xylem, primary phloem and primary xylem. Now after some time, after secondary growth, it become like this. Thickness increase like this. Here primary xylem, secondary xylem 1, secondary xylem 2, secondary xylem 3, secondary xylem 4, secondary xylem 5 layer. Here primary phloem, secondary phloem 1, secondary phloem 2, secondary phloem 3. So you just see, and who is there? It is part of vascular cambium ring. Earlier the grit is this. Thickness is this. Due to secondary growth, this growth become like this. So what happening? Earlier between primary phloem and primary xylem, who was there? Only cambium was there. Na? Earlier only who was there? Cambium was there. Now after secondary growth, when it is cutting toward outside, when this cambium sowing activity, division, toward outside they are forming many layer of phloem, secondary phloem. And toward inside, they are making many layer of which one? Secondary xylem. And the newest layer is near the cambium. So oldest layer will push up of phloem. Na? And the oldest layer of the xylem move toward center. You just see xylem is pushing downward. Na? Xylem is pushing toward center. And phloem is moving toward periphery. So overall, what is increasing? Grith is increasing or not increasing? Grith is increasing or not increasing? Tell me, dear children. Grith is increasing, na? Who is pushing up? Right. So distance, as many layer will in form, distance between primary phloem and primary xylem will decrease or increase. As many layer form, so distance between primary xylem and primary phloem will increase. Who push toward the center? Primary xylem. Because from every side, primary xylem is moving toward the center. And every side, primary phloem is moving in the which one? Periphery. So, who is increasing? Grith is increasing in the stellar layer formation occur in the stellar region or not. Many new layer form in the stellar region or not. Tell me, dear children, clear or not clear? Formed or not formed? Is it all right? Is it all right? It is clear. Done. Done. Right? Forming. Very good. So what NCRT wrote? NCRT wrote due to secondary growth the primary xylem moves towards center and remain more or less intact more or less intact and primary and secondary phloem get crossed gradually Anybody can explain it, why it happening? NCRT wrote, xylem not crust. It coming in the center and remain more or less intact. Primary xylem, they are writing, na, NCRT, when you open your NCRT, they are writing, ki bhai, xylem remain more or less intact in the central region. Who get crust? Primary xylem and secondary xylem get crust gradually. Gradually means one, not once. First primary phloem will crush, then secondary phloem, first layer will crush, then secondary phloem, second layer will crush, and so on. They gradually crust. Now, why phloem crust? Why not xylem crust? My question is this. Who will answer it? One student writing, outside no space, and inside pith was there. C, yeah. One student giving somehow good answer with the help of the physics. Good one. Pressure. 
एक्चुअली मोर ग्रोथ अकर इन विच डायरेक्शन इन साइड सो वेयर ग्रोथ अकर प्रेशर अकर इन विच डायरेक्शन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन अपोजिट साइड सो इंटरनल मोर ग्रोथ अकर सो प्रेशर एक्सर्ट विच वन एक्सटर्नल गेटिंग द आइडिया एंड दैट इज द रीजन हु इज गेटिंग क्रस्ट ग्रेजुअली हु इज गेटिंग क्रस्ट ग्रेजुअली फ्लोएम इज गेटिंग क्रस्ट ग्रेजुअली गेटिंग द थिंग्स हु इज नॉट क्रस्ट जाइलम इज नॉट क्रस्ट हु इज क्रस्ट फ्लोएम इज गेटिंग क्रस्ट ग्रेजुअली अंडरस्टैंडिंग द आइडिया सो मेनी लेयर्स इज गोइंग टू फॉर्म इज इट क्लियर नाउ वन थिंग आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू से हियर विच इज नॉट इन एन सी आर टी कीप इन यूर माइंड one thing i have just want to say which is not in ncert but have a look you have to know it also see in vascular one cambium ring there are two type of cells are there how many type of cells are there two type of cells are there in vascular cambium ring that is not written in ncert i am writing the extra point so in the two type uh, two, two type of cells are there in the vascular cambium ring when i made green dot na so this green dot i form if made is called fusiform initial re initial it is called which initial re initial re initial and the yellow colors i am writing it is fusiform initial let me write another place yellow color here is fusiform initial so ray initial it is forming secondary medullary ray secondary medullary ray and fusi form initial when divide they form secondary xylem and secondary phloem so they are forming medullary ray when you see the diagram you are finding when circumference is increasing you just have a look suppose that they become that much thicker so you will find some lines are passing even in the ncert diagram it is passing a lines like this thin line like this so these lines you are finding formed by which one ray initials getting the things these ray initials is causing which one A radial conduction through xylem and phloem when it become too thick radial conductions require na so radial conductions in the xylem and phloem is performed by which one these ray initial getting the things or not these ray initial is forming secondary medullary ray so two type of medullary rays are present in which one dicot stem primary medullary rays which are radiating from pith and secondary medullary rays they form by the ray initial and fusiform initial is responsible for which one formation of secondary xylem and secondary phloem and ray initial secondary medullary ray it perform radial conduction in xylem and phloem that line not even mentioned in ncert but i feel it is important you must know it got the idea so in vascular bundle uh, cambium ring how many type of cells are there two type of cells fusiform initial and ray initial you also know about it so is it clear in the mind is it clear in the mind so it is over how growth is increasing in the intrastellar region how layer formation occur in the intrastellar region intrastellar secondary growth done is it clear in the mind now i am going to tell you about annual ring as well as i will say you about which one heart wood and sap wood getting the things or not so can we move ahead is it done is it done intrastellar region secondary growth over yes now have a look can we move ahead should i change the slide you understood up to here yes have a look see the things
Hmm. Just have a look here. So whenever you go for the TS of a old tree, transverse section of the old tree, tree, you will find that kind of a structure. So you will find there are so many rings are present. There are so many rings are present. You find the ring, 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 ring structures are present in the stem basically. So this part who are dark is thin, thin band. And it is a dark color. And this one is, this one is dark color, thin band. And this one is light color, thick, light color, light color. I just change the background to show you light color, thick band. So what happened basically, I'm just writing about annual ring. So in plant, or better to say stem, of plant who grow in temperate region. Cambium so unequal activity unequal activity. In which plant? In plant who grow in temperate region. In temperate region who is there? Seasonal variations are there. So spring season are there, autumn season is there, getting the things or not. So cambium so unequal activity. In spring season or it is also called early season. Cambium so more activity more activity cambium so more activity in a spring season or early season and form a thick light color band. light color band. I also have large vessels. Getting the things or not? And in autumn season, because two different distinct season we find, very differentiable season we find in which region? Temperate region, not in tropical region. Tropical region, seasonal variations are not there. So autumn season, what happened? Cambium, so less activity. And form a thin, light, dark color. Thin, dark color band dark color band getting the things or not and these autumn season is also called which one late season so what we are finding the color band who form in uh, light color band who form in which one? Autumn season, thick band, is also called early wood. Early wood or spring wood. Secondary xylem forming, na? so it is wood. And who are forming in which one? Dark color and which one? Thin band, less activity, thin band, autumn season. So we also call which one? Autumn wood. Autumn wood. Or we also call it late wood. 
or late wood. So if someone asks you what is the difference between autumn wood and late wood, uh, uh, early wood, can you say a spring wood and autumn wood, what are the difference, can you say here? I will change the background color. I just deliberately change the background color like this. Reason, when I, earlier a dark color was there. So when I told light color, so you confuse. It is light color, no, it is dark color. It is light color, the thick, thick band. White who are looking is dark color. Who are looking wood color is light color. Are you getting the idea? So for that purpose, I change the background. So you just understand it better. Getting the things. Now I am changing the background. Are you getting the idea what I want to convey? Understanding the idea what I want to say or not? Tell me first. It is light color. Dark light, dark light, dark light, dark light. Are you getting the idea? Is it clear in the mind? So who is thick is light. And the thick band have less density. Less density. And who are thin band have more density. Also keep in mind. Density is more in thin band rather than in which one? Thick band. Okay, G? So now I am changing the background. Have a look here. Now is it okay? Why I change the background? I want to say it is dark, it is light. So many times a student confused, sir, it is black and you are saying light. So I make it white. So you not get confused when I am saying light color. Getting the idea? Is it clear in the mind? So these rings formation in stem occur due to unequal signal activity. So these rings are not present very distinct in plant who are growing in tropical region. In Bijawada area plant, you will not find these rings are very developed. Because it is a tropical conditions we are finding in Bijawada. There is no much considerable difference between summer and winter. If you go to Delhi, northern part, winter is chilling, 2 degree, 3 degree Celsius. Here, never temperature go below 20 or 19. Able to understand, clear in the mind. So no much differentiations are there in the two seasons. So activity is not like sometime very high here, sometime very low here. In coastal area, these things you will not find. In root, these things you will not find. So you will find these rings in which one? Stem, especially in the plant who are growing in which area? Temperate area, not in tropical area. Is it it? And these rings are due to unequal, unequal, Activity of the cambium in two seasons. Spring season is growing season. Cambium activity so more. So their layer are more thicker. Autumn is somehow which one? Less growing season. Cambium activity is less. So layer of the wood is forming is thinner. Getting the things? So thin layer of wood in autumn season. Thick layer of wood in spring season. A spring season is called early. Who form in a spring season is called early wood. Who form in autumn season is called late wood. Getting the things. So who form in a spring season are light in color. Who form uh, in winter, uh, winters, uh, which one? Autumn season, that band is darker in color. Who form in a spring season have lesser density. Why lesser density? Pipe is thicker, thicker. So when thick pipe is there, hole is more, density become less now. Less now. Getting the things. So less density of which one? Spring wood, more density present in autumn wood. So can you able to find three, four difference between a spring wood and autumn wood or not? Tell me, tell me dear children. Are you able to differentiate between the spring wood and autumn wood? I wrote here, a spring wood, early wood, light color, thick band, less density. One difference, two difference, three difference, four difference is here only, na? Getting the things. Autumn wood is also called late wood. More density, thin band, dark color. Showing which one? Getting, getting the idea. So these are the difference between which one? A spring wood and autumn wood. 
getting the idea so just we are finishing the chapter here only i will say you about heartwood and sapwood in which class next class and then we will deal about extra steeler secondary growth and secondary growth in root as well and another things we will work out so you can say about here dark color here autumn wood late season cambium showing ha it is already written na less activity density i wrote more density yeah it is written already so is done any doubt then you can ask your question qr code okay ji so i am exporting the qr code i hope you understand up to here if any doubt you can raise your questions definitely i will answer it understood very good so this is your qr code okay then bye bye bye